Not counting double digit thousands. Tracks. Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Russ back again with some more Madden 21 gameplay. Gonna be bringing you guys some uh, fantasy franchise gameplay today. I actually did a franchise with my boy Nemo, my boy 60, and these are some of the games I ended up recording. I just recorded all of them because they were kind of fun. We ended up just drafting the whole team. Like, we literally went, like, I think almost to the very end, if not to the very end, and drafted, like, every single player on our teams. And then we just decided to play each other in the seasons. We're not playing, like, the CPU games or anything. We're just playing each other. Uh, on eight minute quarters so these games are kind of long like they're they're pretty hefty uh, a lot of stuff goes down a lot of plays a lot of throws a lot of runs all that type of shit so it's a pretty entertaining game but we like I said we drafted our whole team so everybody um, that is running or running the ball or throwing the ball everybody is on a different team for the most part I don't think we drafted a player that is on their respective teams because we did the NFC East because um I don't even know why we did. I guess we, we were doing it because of jerseys, and I think I mentioned the Washington football team, and, and Nima like, jumped on it. Like, I want to be the Washington football team. So that's who he is. I'm the Eagles. Um, I don't know why I went with the Eagles. I think it's because of their jerseys. I thought they were kind of slick. Um, but other than that, there's really no main reason to that. And 60 went with the uh, went with the Giants. So going into this game, I really had no expectations. I had not played with this team. I didn't know how some of these guys played. I hadn't played with Kyler this year yet, so it was really interesting getting to, getting to use him. Um, and you can see things are not really going well for us right now. Like, we started off really good. We got a pick with Shaquem Griffin that was almost a pick six, and we ended up uh, rushing into the end zone with Kyler Murray for a rushing touchdown, which he has done a lot this year in real life. Uh, or in real life, I didn't, I didn't say that right. Um, but on a punt return, we ended up fumbling, and he took it back for six. So just like that, our lead really goes away, but he misses the PAT. So our lead technically didn't go away, but then we fumble with Kyler again, and then he scores. So now our lead is officially away. So seven to uh, seven to twelve right now. He does end up taking the PAT and making it seven to thirteen. You know, keep it two field goals right now with how long these quarters are. We're still in the first quarter, so really no reason to go ahead and force a two point conversion right now already. Uh, but we do have Rob Gronkowski, who is a absolute fucking monster, bro. I mean, you guys have seen him on my mutt team uh, already, but these are the games that made me want to get Gronkowski. He's a ninety one overall. He just bowls over people. Like, Nemo and 60, they hate facing me because I have Gronk. Like, he is a annoying bulldozer. I tell you that much, man. We also got Tariq Cohen. So, our backfield is interesting. We got supposedly 5'10", Kyler Murray. <clears throat> Actually, 5'8". But, uh, <laughs> I swear to God, Kyler Murray is like fucking 5'8", 5'9". And then we have uh, Tariq Cohen in the backfield who is 5'6". So, our team is interesting like that is our main running back is Tariq Cohen I didn't really go with anybody else Tariq is just a monster too he's really hard uh, to catch up with and also another player that they just get really annoyed with so it's kind of funny but we also have Cordell Patterson so a really good kick returner and also he is a technically a halfback so we'll use him you know on the goal line maybe sometimes or just you know kind of a backup second fiddle to Tariq Cohen because he is bigger I was thinking of using him on the goal line but Probably like the same trucking, to be honest. But you can see right now, man, I'm just rolling around with Kyler. Like, Kyler is so fun to use. His little fucking 90-speed scramble uh, or escape artist ass. Like, he's just all over the place, bro. It's insane. Really fun to use. Like, Kyler was uh, he was annoying the shit out of Nemo, too. My entire team, I didn't mean for it to, to draft as glitchy of a team as I did. But it is glitchy. But right there, I decided to go ahead and force a pass. And Dante Jackson, or Dante, yeah, Dante Jackson. He's also on our mutt team, but he is on Nemo's team in this one. Really good pick because he is fast as shit. Uh, he jumps the ball really well just with his speed alone. That was a really dumb play by me. I mean, he was kind of open, but it was definitely a forced throw. So 13-13 right now. After that very bad pick, uh, like I said, Dante Jackson just fucking ball hawk man but anyway he ends up getting back on offense obviously after the interception but he has to punt it right away man you know we ended up you know making a couple good plays on defense making some good stops keeping ourselves in this game or putting ourselves in position to take a lead in this game and I keep fucking up with Kyler Murray I don't know what I'm doing man that was a really bad read again I thought I could get it over the top of Harrison Smith and honestly if I lob it it's probably there but I just make a bad read and it's another interception you know we've been stopping Nemo but we're giving him short fields and eventually he's gonna make it happen and I forgot to mention, man, you would think with that number two on with the Washington football team jerseys, it would be Dwayne Haskins. It actually is not. It is Jalen Hurts. Nemo did not pick a quarterback. He was trying to pick Colin Kaepernick, and then he waited way too damn long. So he has Jalen Hurts throwing the ball. All we have to do is make him throw the ball. He has not done well throwing it with him. And right now, Kyler, if we just don't make these dumb reads, it's 
we can fucking move down the field. Like, we have good players. We got Debo Samuel, a receiver. We got Tyler Lockett. And we obviously have the beast that is Rob Gronkowski at tight end. So we are good if we just quit making these reads. We're putting ourselves in a giant hole as we throw another interception to Harrison Smith. That is his second of this game. Nemo ended up cashing in with Jalen Hurts the previous time. And I make the same damn read. And right now, he's looking like he's going to cash in again. Up 20-13. to 13. We are putting ourselves in a major, major, major hole with these awful reads right now. And third and 24 decides to chuck it all the way out of bounds. Yeah, he got himself stuck in a deep doo-doo third down. But he decides to run a fake field goal because this motherfucker's crazy and I have no goddamn clue how that fat-ass goddamn lineman kept his feet in bounds. But he does. And somehow that is a 24-yard fourth down conversion to a lineman for a touchdown. This game could not be going worse. I could not be fucking up more. I am playing absolutely garbage. And it, it's my fault. Like, I keep making shit happen with Kyler and then I negate it with a bad pick. Or just really bad things. You guys can see how insane this motherfucker is. But again, not sliding. Could have easily fumbled right there. Lucky I didn't. And down 14 right now. We have got to make this shit happen quick. And, <laughs> well, actually, you know, I say that, but this game is going to be pretty long. Like, the quarters were long. We have enough time. But we still got to make something happen on this drive. We got to put pressure back on him. We can't let him have this two-score lead and try to sit on it and be comfortable. We got to make him sweat a little bit. But, of course, of fucking course, I try to run with Kyler and I fumble again. And, wow, that should have been a pick six. Jesus Christ. I don't know who that was that didn't get that ball, but that should have been a pick six. But Kyler, got to talk about that, man. That's his fourth turnover of the game. His second pick. His second fumble, or I mean his second fumble along with two picks, four turnovers in two quarters and a half. Like this is bad, bro. Luckily we are able to stop Nemo on third down and he does punt. So we're seeing his punter again. At this point, he doesn't want to risk anything, right? Because if we give him a short field, that's the one thing he doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to make it so we can score in one goddamn play with a freaky ass Kyler Murray. So he punts the ball, which is the smart move, and we get a penalty apparently. So we have the ball to 27 to start this or not to start but we ended up on like the 32 or something like that and then we got i think a sack or ended up being sacked ended up not making a difference because we found Tariq cohen out the backfield and that little fucker is nasty i'm pretty sure that was Tariq cohen i don't think it could have been anybody else i mean he's so distinctive with how tiny he is but third and 10 kyler murray gets sacked he ends up running contains really good play he has aaron donald uh really just i mean not much else to say he has aaron donald i have jj watt jj watt has not been doing that much this game that's why i haven't really mentioned him but our d-line is pretty damn good on this uh team that i drafted but aaron donald's another fucking manimal is right there fourth and 18 we cannot convert unbelievable bro we cannot come through with anything right now we keep stopping him he keeps punting he keeps giving us chances as he punts again we have got to make something fucking happen, bro. Our defense is playing lights out. I have put them in horrible positions. The 27 points, we have a punt return fumble that ended up being a touchdown. That's six because he missed the PAT. And then two picks that put him in amazing position where I do not blame my defense whatsoever. But right now, after all these stops, we have got to find the end zone. Now in the fourth quarter, it is legitimately now or never as we throw another interception. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Harrison Smith is white Jesus. I tell you that much. That Why did I say white Jesus? That's just Jesus. <laughs> God, I'm retarded. Whatever. White Jesus. Harrison Smith. That's my nickname for him now. Makes no sense. Is what it is. Uh, Harrison Smith comes up with his third fucking pick of the game. That's good to give myself a little bit of a laugh right there. Considering how horrible this game has been for us right now. As we just keep turning the ball fucking over. With Kyler throwing three interceptions and two fumbles. All of them are my fault. Like, I really don't blame any of them on Kyler for the most part. You know, watching this gameplay again, when I did it initially, I thought they were bad throws by Kyler. They really weren't. It was just my fault. Like, I did not make good fucking plays, and I kept just making bad reads. So right now, we got the ball back after another stop. It feels like our offense has been on the field for, like, 95% of the game, but we only have 13 points to show, and he's still up by 14. So 440 left. Obviously, at this point, it is straight up now or never. Like, I did not think we'd get this many stops. I did not think my defense was going to be that tough. But it was. And right now, we're getting the opportunities to win this game as Tariq Cohen, that motherfucker. God, he is so goddamn quick. He goes from 0 to 60 in, like, 0.2 seconds. As Cordell Patterson on the goal line. We put in the fresh back, the bigger body, and he does fall into the end zone to go ahead and make this game finally 
one goddamn score, barring, actually, no matter what, it's going to be one score. But we really need this extra point, and luckily we do end up making it Mitchell Trubisky on the whole, which is the only thing he should be doing, if anything, on any sort of NFL team. But right now, only down seven. Miraculously, we're still in this game. With 240 left, like I said, these quarters were a lot longer than me and you know Nemo have really ever played before. So this was a long game, and right now, I finally I, I make another stop. I, I was going to say finally, that's not right. We made a bunch of stops, but we have not come through consistently. But right now is our chance. We score once, we get another stop. Momentum is still on our side. We still have just uh, just burners on offense. Like I have so much confidence right now, just as long as we don't make the stupid read. That's all I have to do is not make a dumbass read and have to slide. This was a game before I learned how to slide being double tap, and even with the double tap, it still doesn't work half the time. But I luckily don't fumble right there as we find Debo Samuel wide open on the right side of the field with one minute left. Now 35 seconds left on second and six. We find Tyler Lockett on the outside as he gets the first down at the eight. Kyler Murray looking, rolling out to his left on first and goal, going towards the end zone, eats a big hit and gets into the end zone to make it 27 to 26. And after all this goddamn shit, we are down by one point and the extra point is good as we tie this game up with 28 seconds left. Now 15 left on third and inches. Josh Jacobs doesn't want to catch the goddamn ball. <laughs> hey, man. That's the way the fucking cookie crumbles. All game, we had shit that was just fluky and upsetting. You know, we made a lot of bad reads, but the fumble on the punt return was upsetting. And right here, he decides to go for the... <laughs> he went for the fake, and he got it. Goddamn. Forget what I was saying, man. I was going to say something. I was going to correlate a bunch of plays that happened to that drop but it makes no difference because he ended up getting it anyway but that drop did make a difference took off a few seconds on third and inches made him think about you know what he had to run on fourth down to try to make something happen to get into field goal range that drop did make a difference because if he gets that he gets a first down calls a timeout he still has or still has one timeout left and has a chance to go down the field and make a chunk play and get a field goal to win this game but unfortunately for him drop pass fake fuel or fake punt for whatever reason that was a kind of a risky play by him but he gets it and uh, you know at the end of the game He's not able to put up points. So now into OT. Did not think this game would be an OT after all this goddamn time. Uh, really a hell of a game, though. Like, a really, really solid game between me and Nemo. Just uh, really insane. Like, we should have been dead in the water so many times. But again, Nemo did not pick a quarterback. Therefore, he just did not have any consistency th uh, throwing the ball. Like, that was the most he would have is slants like that. But all he has to do is put together one drive. And Josh Jacobs can't help him do that. As he drops another ball, Josh Jacobs is going to be the death of Nemo. Now, either of those catches that he dropped, I don't know if gonna, I don't know if they're going to be first downs, but I'm sure Nemo would like the chance to see if they would be. You know, Josh Jacobs is a guy that breaks tackles, and unfortunately for Nemo, he got stuck in fourth and one, and I thought he was going to go for it. I was really surprised when he decided to punt it. I mean, he faked it at the end of the game when if he didn't get it, I could have kicked a field goal and won. But he decides to go ahead and punt the ball on fourth and one and he made a mistake as James Washington gets us to the one yard line man to the one but Kyler Murray on the play action rolls out and finds our fullback wide open in the end zone and that is going to end this fucking roller coaster of a game that I have no goddamn clue how the fuck we won I, s I have no fucking idea I still don't even know what happened like I went through this commentary even right now I still don't understand what happened so many stops on defense. Our defense is the reason we won this fucking game. And again, I kind of go back to it a second ago. Fourth and one in overtime, like Nemo is usually the type to be aggressive in that situation. But I think after all the all the drops and stuff like that, he just thought he could stop me or, you know, force me into another turnover, which honestly was a smart move. But we had scored the past two drives. We were on a roll. We had really started to figure out our offense and really figure out what we were doing. And at that point, I didn't feel like we could be stopped. It's like Russell Wilson being you know pretty dormant for three quarters or putting up a game that you would say is average to bad and then all of a sudden in the fourth he just puts together drive after drive and you realize he's in it he's fucking in it he there's no way he's gonna miss and that's how I felt with Kyler you know we had a really bad game with Kyler I think it said we turned it over seven times but Kyler overall played really good you know I made a lot of bad reads but overall he played good Jalen Hurts played very mediocre that's just tough to win when you have a quarterback like Jalen Hurts and you're not using them to run, Nemo did not run with him really at all. Um, he did have a rushing touchdown, but it was really close to the goal line. Like a six-yard run, 
But outside of that, he really named, never made me worried about uh, Jalen Hurts' legs. We did use Lamar, or I said Lamar, felt like Lamar, but we did use Kyler all game running the ball, and then Tariq had eight receptions. For f- <laughs> My God, Tariq Cohen just played like an absolute goddamn monster, bro. 126 reception yards, and then Gronk did his work. Really good game. I had a lot of fun playing this game, man. You know, it was just fun doing this fantasy franchise with one of my friends that, you know, we had like just this clash of craziness. Like, and we actually had time to come back from deficits. I mean, we were down 14 in the fourth quarter, I believe it was actually, it was in the fourth quarter. And, you know, we failed so many times before that, but all we had to do was come up one time at the end and we ended up doing it. Shaquem Griffin with a pick too. That's pretty cool. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know if you like seeing these gameplays of the fantasy franchise and stuff against my friends, because they're really for the most part, better games than what I play online against other people because people play like assholes. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to let me know if you enjoyed. And as always, I'm out. Peace.